Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to take a look at and share with you guys a jailbreak tweak that not only redefines Control Center on iOS 7, but also multitasking and merges the two together. First, before we begin, I wanted to preface and say that this tweak is exclusive to jailbroken devices and it will function on iOS 7 through 7.1 even if you have an iPhone 4 that's jailbroken using Geek Snow and the Tether jailbreak. I'll also have a link to my jailbreak tutorial for that down below if you want more information. However, it will function on other devices that are jailbroken on a previous version of iOS 7. Of course, with iOS 7.0.6 being the latest version of iOS 7 that's capable of being jailbroken across all devices. Devices. And now let's bring over my iPhone 5s to demonstrate with because as of now OXO 2 is exclusive to the iPhone as well as the iPod touch version 1.2 however will be updated for full iPad support. So bringing down my iPhone 5s if I were to bring up what used to be control center you will notice I have a new hybrid view between control center and my recently opened applications that would traditionally appear inside of the multitasking view. So now when I also bring up multitasking or what used to be multitasking again I still receive this hybrid view and that is because of the tweak OXO2. So going inside of the settings application and then the OXO2 portion of settings I do have some options here. The first of which and the most notable of which being multi-center which actually enables that hybrid view otherwise I would just get the traditional control center and traditional multitasking but because this tweak is primarily centered around multi-center I'm going to enable it now we also have the option to go with quick switcher which allows me to quickly switch between applications simply by dragging up from the bottom left portion of the screen. You also have the ability to enable hot corners, which allows you to go to the home screen simply by swiping up from the bottom right. Again, the bottom middle, which is how you would traditionally access control center, brings you to this new multi-center window. At least that's what OXO2 calls it. And then from there, you just have some advanced options. And just going over some of these advanced options, we can enable a minimal display view, which essentially minimizes some of the control center aspects of it such as airplay you can also open it to the last opened application you have the ability to slightly customize quick launcher as you can see we have a couple of options inside of here and you can also enable an unlimited quick switcher option that essentially allows you to view more than the last six opened applications inside of the new multi-center view and for the last two you can either invert hot corners which again allows you to go to the home screen from inside of applications simply by swiping up on the right hand corner of the display and you can also set applications that you don't want to appear inside of the new OXO2 multi-center tweak. Now a couple of things I should mention before concluding first of all OXO2 is a premium tweak that is exclusive to jailbroken devices. Again if you're on iOS 7 through 7.0.6 I'll have a link to my jailbreak tutorial down below and I'll also have another link to my iOS 7.1 jailbreak tutorial that's exclusive exclusive to the iPhone 4. So again, just be sure to check those out if you aren't jailbroken and you want to install OXO2. The second thing is that due to the nature of the tweak, it's not compatible with any other control center tweak. So if you have CC controls, for instance, you will need to uninstall it. Otherwise, your device will enter a safe mode loop. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Again, just showing you control center and multitasking reinvented for iOS 7 with OXO2. If you like this video and you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon on gift card, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And if you own an iOS device and you want to earn paid iOS applications for free while simultaneously supporting the developers of said applications, just be sure to visit freeapplife or getfal.co forward slash getfreeapplife on your iDevice inside of Safari. From there, you'll be able to download sponsored apps for points and then use said points to redeem various prizes such as paid apps application codes from Apple's App Store and gift cards. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I post new videos and cover jailbreak topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Again, I'll have links to everything below. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.